All right, we'll see what happens here. Well, something worked. Don't know what. Well, something worked. Don't know what. Great. Now we got an echo. All right. <clears throat> hey. Very good. Welcome back, everybody. So can people hear me now? Okay, Sam says he sees me. Kevin, you're from Buttonwood. Cool. I hear you. Hey! All right. And, of course, the camera is blurry. Let's shoot with the other camera, then. Uh, all right. Wow. Wow. Okay, now the volume is low. Okay. How about now? Can you hear me, uh, Kevin? I'm, I'm speaking up. My microphone says everything is good. Let me crank the volume up. Let me check the back side of the mic. Yep, back side of the mic. <clears throat> okay. Whew. <laughs> so I have been sitting here for the last 20 minutes talking to myself. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I've been going through all these questions, answering questions. Oh, uh, do I ever feel foolish? All right. I'm not sure why this one camera is fuzzy. All right. Uh, so, again, welcome everyone. I apologize uh, for, for the mix up. Um, my. I mean, everything on, on uh, YouTube said it was going good, but uh, obviously it wasn't. Um, thank you for your patience. Um, so, whew. <laughs> let me try the other camera now, see if we can get a nice clear. Oh, we got all the cameras. We don't want all the cameras. Hmm. And the camera's blurry. I don't know why the camera's blurry. Uh, anyway. Um, so, anyway. Uh, lots of questions this time. Uh, we'll, we'll go back to the start. We'll kind of uh, paraphrase them just a little bit. Um, uh, let's go back to, oh great, questions. All right. Can you see the questions now? All right. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Whew. Again, my apologies. Um, you know, sometimes technology gets the best of us. Um, so anyway, this question from Tom R. Actually, it was three questions that came in um, during the last show. He couldn't get the... Uh, the live chat to work on his phone. Um, his first, his question was: Most of the new smaller, most of the new smaller homes in Eastport are frame construction. Uh, will the villages be offering villa homes that are precast concrete? Um, screen dirty. Actually, the camera's not. It's not the screen. It is the uh, the camera's not focused because it was in focus a, a minute ago. Uh, I don't know what. Um, I'm afraid to unplug it and, and restart it because I'm afraid it won't restart with the way things have been going today. Uh, it's been a, a hectic week, and today just was icing on the cake. Anyway, back to uh, Tom R's question. Uh, the smaller homes, the, the patio homes, and the cottage homes are uh, frame construction, stick and frame construction. Um, 
most courtyard villas that I have seen lately are precast. Um, I don't recall seeing courtyard villas that were stick and frame lately, but I could be wrong. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, uh, the and by the way, there are no homes in Eastport. Eastport is a commercial district. The homes will be in the villages around it. So Moultrie Creek, um, uh, Waters Edge, Shady Brook, and so on. Uh, so I see that some, some folks here uh, got some houses. Congratulations. I saw that on the other broadcast. I don't know why it did, why we had so much trouble. Again, my apologies. Um, he also asked about cul-de-sac roads uh, com in the Eastport area compared to other villages. Uh, that really just depends on uh, what the um, what what they do, the layout of the of the property uh, surrounding wood woodlands, wetlands, lakes, things like that. Uh, there are lots of lakes though in the southern area, and they're huge. Uh, some of them are up to a mile long. Um, as far as seeing villages maps uh, and high tension lines. Um, you're not going to see that on the villages map. They won't show things like that because uh, most people don't uh, want to see <laughs> uh, power lines. Um, but uh, uh, you know, if you look at uh, some of the Google Earth maps, you can find them on there. Uh, normally, there's going to be a, a narrow corridor that you'll see them on. Oh, wow. So everybody's chiming back in. We got 46 on on the vi on the the uh, uh, broadcast now. Uh, that's awesome. I'm gonna try and center this, and we'll. There we go. That centers it a little bit better. Um, there were about 3,000 people last night at Brownwood for. Uh, yeah. A couple of thousand people at Brownwood is not uncommon, especially for Rocky and the Rollers. There, there's some really good groups here that play. Um, all right, let's move on to the next question. Um, so Mary Lou McLaughlin asked, is rebar being used in the foundations of the homes? Uh, for most homes, no. There is some uh, rebar used in specific areas. And if you have a pool deck that's attached to your home, then there is a uh, lots of rebar. Uh, you know, same thing with uh, your lanai. Normally, your lanai has rebar in it also. Um, she also asks. Uh, Mary Lou also asks about uh, EV charging stations inside or outside the villages. I don't know of any inside the villages, and um, uh, what you call it. Uh, I sorry, lost track of my th my train of thought here. Uh, so I don't know of any ch EV charging stations inside the villages. Outside, I really haven't been keeping track. I assume somebody's going to build some. Uh, it, that's pretty much all left up to uh, private individuals to do that. Um, you know, I don't know of any planned either, not at any rec center or anything like that. Um, TF wants to know what the minimum deposits that you need to provide the villages agent when you are selecting when you're selected during. Uh, the lottery for your home. So, uh, within three hours that you need to sign a contract and give them a check for $2,500 or you can put the, the uh, your credit card down for um, uh, $2,500. Uh, Carol, you're saying the video is froze, so the, the okay, it's okay now. Alright, thank you, Carol. Uh, whew, and uh, let's see. Oh, thank you, Jerry, for, you know, yeah, please hit the like button. It helps. Um, anyway, uh, so back to the question. My apologies. I get sidetracked here. Squirrel, something shiny. You know how it is. Uh, so $2,500 you got to give the agent. Uh, um, you can use a credit card or you can give them a check. If you use a credit card, then uh, you can't use that for part of your deposit if you give them a check. It can be used as part of the 10% deposit. 10% is due within a week of signing the contract. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, thank you, Mary Lou. I appreciate you watching. Uh, 
let's see. <clears throat> so, um, the Bensons, Charlie and Louise, want to know uh, where they can find the colored maps that I'm using in my videos. That's easy. If we go to, if you go to my website, I'll bring that up. So this is my website, goldwingnut.com. You'll see in the center, I have no way of <laughs> drawing on this, believe it or not. It's kind of a strange system. Uh, anyway, you'll see it says Villages Map. If you click on the Villages Map uh, label right there, just to the right of the uh, Gold Wing Nut Productions logo in the center top of the screen, uh, the smaller one, that will take you to the latest maps that I have uh, on uh, that are provided me by uh, Bill Baines. He does a great job uh, making the maps and I appreciate him sharing it with me. All right, let's go back to questions. Uh, Scott, uh, J. Scott Good asks, uh, are there any new uh, ball, uh, dog parks planned? Ours is currently closed for ground recovery. Yeah, the pups are tough on the grass. Trust me, my backyard is beat to death because of my two. Um, whew. Uh, there is one planned um, in Eastport. That's the only one I know of right now. Uh, but they've been building a lot more dog parks south of 44 than they ever have. Um, you know, they're, they're trying to make more of them. So the one that is planned right now is between uh, where the boathouse is for launching the, um, uh, what do they call them, dragon boats, and uh, the Farragut ball fields. Beyond that, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. So we got a question here from Greg. Uh, let's let's go back to the main camera. <clears throat> and that camera is really terrible. Let's go to this camera. All right, there we go. So uh, Greg R says, "Do you know how why the villages names the streets? Many of the streets names in Moultrie Creek appear to be people's full names." seems like a long address and potential source of confusion. So they have used many schemes over the years for um, uh, naming streets. Uh, some of them are interesting. Uh, right now they're naming them after a lot of the sales folks, the, the very successful sales folks that are here in the villages. Um, you know, like uh, Frank DiPietro, he's, he's uh, one of the sales agents, uh, a whole bunch of them. Um, others, like where I live in the village of Hillsborough, there's Cosmos, there's Infinity Run, there's New Moon. So uh, I guess it just depends on what they had for lunch is where they get they come up with it. Uh, let's see. Retired in Florida. Re, uh, retired in Florida says hello, sir. Thanks. Will you still run for re-election now that Miller? Uh, Mr. Miller stated uh, he would seek to regain his position. Yes, I am still running. Uh, Mr. Miller is free to do what he pr wishes. Uh, it is not mine to um, my my place to to say what he should do or what he should not do. Uh, um, best I can say is bring it on. Um, let's see. Don, does Jeff still sell air filters? Yes, uh, Jeff with uh, Villages Air Filter so, still does sell them. Um, you should be able to find his contact information on the descriptions of some of my previous videos. Um, Ronnie Stern says, uh, do you know if the lake by Eastport and the big lake behind the high school uh, will be open to kayaking? So I'm assuming, yes, uh, the one kilometer lake at Eastport is going to be open uh, for uh, kayaking. Um, that's what my understanding is. I believe they even said something like that in the last uh, Villages video. Now, the lake behind the high school. Very good question, Ronnie. Um, if you notice, there's this restaurant called The Boathouse, and they do have a boat dock there. Um, and it looks like they're going to be 
doing some boating. I drove by there t this, this afternoon at about noon, and uh, they have a lot of the same uh, docking facilities like they have over at uh, the Okahonka Recreation Center. So, uh, yeah, I, I think you're going to be kayaking there. And uh, it won't be as swampy or as full of gators as Lake Okahumka. All right. Um, whew, lots of stuff going on. So some folks have asked about my dog, uh, Lily. She is very pregnant. Uh, this morning she woke us up and all kinds of strange squishing and, and gurgling noises were coming from her abdomen. Um, I called a friend of mine, Carolyn, excuse me, Carolyn, and uh, she, uh, she said, yep, those are our labor pains. We are expecting any time, any day now, now about 8 o'clock this morning after about two hours of listening to all this noise from her stomach, uh, it settled down, and then she started eating and drinking. So uh, her, her appetite is good. Normally they'll stop eating uh, once they go into uh, the whelping process to have the pups. Uh, we had an x-ray taken of her last week. Uh, Carolyn sent it to uh, a website where people count pups uh, to try and figure out how many pups she's going to have. And, well, the count is 12 plus is what people keep saying. <laughs> That's a lot of puppies. I looked at the x-ray, it looked, with all the spines, it looked like a, a, a belly full of snakes. But uh, anyway, uh, Jerry Bell says, yes, gator snacks are yummy. Yes, if you are eating gator tail, it is very good. But if you are the gator snack, not so good. <laughs> yeah, 12, I know. Uh, you know, that's like walking into the, the, uh, the obstetrician's uh, office and they says, well, it looks like you're having triplets. That. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, let's let's go back to the question since it doesn't look like there's any more right now. All right, um, got to get the right mouse here to scroll. <clears throat> um, uh, Jill from Naperville Real Estate Live asked about the orientation of the house. Um, what, uh, which way the re way, the, the, <laughs> oh, thanks, Jerry. <laughs> Don, I had 12 Great Dane puppies, so if you need help, I'm only two hours away. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, uh, 12, uh, uh, 14 puppies. Oh my gosh. It, it was hard enough the last time with, with the seven that we had. Uh, Let's go back. Let's go back to the questions. Um, so two questions. One was about orientation of the house. The other was about the uh, bond in the larger and smaller neighborhoods. What time is it? Okay, good. We're still. Um, let's see. Uh, so which way the house faces is really up to you. If you have a west-facing house or a south-facing house uh, for your lanai. Okay, if your night, lanai faces south, you're going to get sun all the time. If it faces west, you're going to get the intense even, afternoon and evening sun. Uh, my house right now faces to the northwest, and it can be pretty intense. Uh, a good set of blinds. I recommend plantation shutters as your choice for uh, blinds, um, just because they do the best at blocking it out. Uh, you know, if you're going to do solar, South and west are the two best ways to have the back end of your house facing uh, because you, so, you want your solar cells generally on the back or the side. I don't know if the ARC will approve it on the front. I don't believe they can disapprove it under Florida law, but I have never seen um, any, uh, what you call it, uh, I'll get it out in a second, uh, solar panels, sorry, the brain is slipping here. Uh, on the front of any of the houses. Um, of course, facing if your lanai is facing north, you're gonna it's gonna be uh, shady all the time. It's not gonna be dark, not in Florida. 
as far as the bonds, larger neighborhood, smaller neighborhood, it doesn't work that way. What they do to calculate the bond, there's a video. I have a video um, on my uh, YouTube site. Go to my playlist. Looks for the look for the villages information uh, playlist. There's one in there for bonds. But basically, I'll go the bond real quickly. Uh, your phase of construction. Uh, there's a bond for it. They will look at the total cost of the bond and they will divide it by the number of accessible acres. Accessible acres are the acres that people can pay uh, pay a fee or the bond assessment on. It doesn't include roads, it doesn't include uh, public areas and that uh, as, as far as um, you know green space. It does include things though that are owned by the developer such as the, the mail station, swimming pool and, and that. Um, anyway so they take the bond amount, divide it by the accessible acreage, then they look at your subdivision. They say it's you know 10 acres, so it's 10 times the number uh, the the value for uh, accessible acre, and uh, then they divide it by the number of homes. What you end up with is in the smaller communities that contain the patio villas, they are much tightly more tightly packed in there. Uh, the lots are you know. Uh, an eighth of an acre or less sometimes they're, they're very close together in a patio villa but they're small homes uh, and that's a personal choice they normally have the lowest bonds and when you start getting into the larger homes uh, designer homes are going to have higher bonds and um, you know uh, premier homes like up in the enclave they are going to have uh, the highest bonds but then Many of those homes are on quarter acre or larger lots. Whew. All right. Uh, bad karma. I hope that's not an omen. Uh, but bad karma is saying regarding courtyard villas that are being built uh, between Cordoba uh, Rec Recreation and Hacienda Hills. Uh, that's Yes, it is Marabella. Uh, so do you think that they will be priced higher than new courtyard villas down south? Same question for the courtyard villas being in the new section of Richmond. I think they will be comparably priced, but remember they have a higher construction cost because they're not building in the same area as the rest. So uh, there's more windshield time for the construction crews, things like that. Uh, I think they will be a little bit higher. Uh, I also think they're going to they're going to demand a higher price because. They're going to be very desirable. They're going to be near Spanish Springs uh, for Marabella Villas, and the Courtyard Villas uh, down in Richmond are going to be very near Brownwood, and many people are looking for that. And those Courtyard Villas down by Brownwood, uh, you'll see those in the next video, uh, much of them are, there, there's woods on the north and the west side of them, so that's going to make it a little bit nice. Hey, Jerry and Linda. Welcome. It's good to see you guys again. You're taking a day off, I guess. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's see. Oh, uh, what else do we got? Um. Do uh, do do. Keep us posted on your new house build, uh, Shady Brook. Oh. Hang on just a second, folks. I got to take this call. This is Carolyn, my, my uh, dog person is helping me.
my apologies, folks. Uh, that was the lady that's uh, uh, going to be, um, uh, what do they call it? Uh, the lady that helps deliver babies. Anyway, uh, she, she has somebody else also lined up. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it really is a great time right now with, the, with, with uh, Lily expecting. Of course, she just said something about 14 puppies, and my eyeballs about popped out when she said something like that. Uh, anyway, uh, yes, Lily is fine. Uh, the, the, the puppies' pictures that you saw, that was the last litter uh, from last year, and um, this will be uh, Lily's last litter. Uh, we're we're going to have her taken care of. Uh, the money from these all go to charity. Um, you know, we're, we're looking at uh, Mid Florida Golden Retriever Rescue and Joshua House. And if you want to give to two great charities, uh, those are definitely, definitely worthwhile. We gave a nice donation to them last time. And uh, uh, we are uh, we're looking to do an even bigger one. And if Lily delivers on 12, or as Carolyn just said, 14, ah! <laughs> oh my God, I, I don't know how I'm gonna deal with it, but, but we'll deal with it. All right, let's go back to the questions. Uh, Jerry and Linda, take care. Thank you for stopping in. Um, wow, so lots of good conversations. Oh uh, uh, yeah, Kim, Lily, turned out to be an outstanding mother uh you know our last female we let her have uh, a couple of litters two litters also uh sadie couldn't hold a light to lily and sully turned out to be an incredible father uh he he took good care of the pups and uh well uh, when he first saw the pups he it, one of them made a squeak and took off he took off. He was outside for about half an hour. We have a dog door, and uh, he uh, <laughs> he um, finally came back in and he stepped up to the job and did a great, great, great job of being a, a papa and helping Lily. Um, uh, Jerry, you're right. Midwife is the word I was looking for. Uh, so uh, Cindy Eggstrom says, "What's going on at the intersection of 44?" and Morse. 44 and Morse. Um, oh, it begins with a W. Thanks. Uh, I have not found any confirmation on what I think it is. Uh, as soon as I find something, you know, folks, I'm going to let everybody know. Uh, you know, it's just uh, without a positive confirmation, then all I'm doing is spreading rumors. Uh, but uh, I, I think people will be happy if it turns out to be what I think it is. Anyway, uh, moving on. Um, uh, do, 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 let's see. Uh, Mark Edwards says, seems like the problems with the executive greens can be resolved by resodding them. That should be in the budget every seven to 10 years. So on the golf courses, yes. Um, you know, Resodding is a good idea, it ta but the greens are a very special plot of grass. There's a drainage system underneath them uh, that has to be maintained. Uh, you know, with the way they think the grass grows in, and that they have to make sure the drainage is good. And that's really a big part of the problem. Is there is so much decaying uh, vegetable matter, if you plant matter beneath the surface, it's not allowing the greens to drain very well. Um, and so just resodding is not the answer. Uh, they have to really dig out the whole thing. Uh, they are upping the schedule, as I understand it, um, between um, uh, the AAC and PWAC on uh, the resodding process. Uh, I don't know what happened down at Red Fox and Gray Fox. Those courses are only like six or seven years old. I did not expect them to be in the shape that they are in, but they had some problems. Let's move on. Do, 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 do. Um, 
uh, pen seeker, and he had a picture of a golfer uh, next to it as a, uh, an avatar on his YouTube page, um, was, uh, do you know, <coughs> do you happen to know if there will be a shortcut from Citrus Grove and over the Bexley Bridge, then over to Warm Springs or under, so that we can get to Gray Fox, Red Fox, or Red Fox, Gray Fox, Loblolly, Longleaf, without having to follow the turnpike for miles, then you turn for miles uh, to join up with Corbin Trail. Uh, will there be a pass through over or under Corbin Trail? Thanks for the great videos. We are big fans. So, uh, yeah, that's McNeil Drive. Uh, it will meet up with Corbin Trail. Uh, that's not open yet. And um, it, I don't know when it's going to open, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to open until they start selling homes in Wellpoint. And Wellpoint is behind. Um, uh, Water's Edge, which hasn't started selling yet, and uh, they just started selling homes recently in Shady Brook. So Moultrie Creek is going quickly. Uh, Shady Brook is starting to ramp up. Uh, Land Girl GB, thank you so much. I appreciate uh, the donation. It definitely helps with this. <laughs> Maybe I'll use it to figure out what I did wrong <laughs> uh, in not getting this thing going. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so there is going to be a path. Uh, when it's going to open, I don't know. Uh, again, I don't think it's going to be until they start selling houses. That's what drives things. What they open up is where the houses are selling. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, Victoria Chanel says, take your time. We are getting ready to do a breeding. Oh, Kemaz, thank you also. I appreciate the donations. They help. Um, uh, to do, to do a, a Mastiff. Wow. And Jerry says she has a South African Bora Boa Mastiff. I don't know what that is. But every time I hear the word Mastiff, I think massive, as in massive dogs, because they always seem to be. Uh, Jerry Bell says, will, uh, will TV sell lots for designer homes? Or they all spec homes. Uh, so Jerry, I'm assuming you're talking uh, just based on where the discussions have been going. You're talking about um, the Richmond area. Uh, I drove by there this, this afternoon. Also, uh, it looks like they're putting up walls for uh, the area there in Richmond. I know that they put up the walls already for the courtyard villas, and in the southern part, is that southern? Yeah, the southern part. Uh, there's also columns getting ready to go in and more walls getting ready to go in. So it looks like those are going to be veranda homes, which would make sense because you've got the Buena Vista extension and you've got um, Megason Road on both sides of it, making it a kind of a noisy place. So I don't think they're going to be doing, um, uh, what you call it, uh, any uh, spec or any um, custom builds. Uh R. Rokela, I, I apologize for butchering the name. How long does it take to drive a golf cart or automobile from Sawgrass to Brownwood or Lake Sumter uh, music stages? Uh, so from Sawgrass to Brownwood is about 20 minutes and to Lake Sumter Landing is about 25 or 30. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Thank, yes, again, thank you all for the generous donations. Uh, you know, uh, if you've noticed on my last videos, my last couple of videos, I have been donating to Tunnel to Towers. I have been donating to um, uh, Wounded Warriors. And uh, I'm also uh, donating to uh, Warrior Wheels. Warrior Wheels is doing a, um, a big thing up May 18th at the polo grounds uh lots of vendors uh they're raising money to to give a car to a veteran uh i am i have signed up to be one of their sponsors um uh, I, I you know i do what i do because uh, i love keeping people informed and you know things have been good with the business well i guess this year 
last year looking at my taxes. Now the, the business didn't do well. Um, but that's because I invested heavily in the business for better cameras, better equipment, things like that. But uh, no, I, I'm, I'm donating a lot of, the, of what I make now to charity uh, just because it's a good thing. Um, Kyle Reed says they're going to have to work towards more affordable housing simply because uh, of the information is not housing, simply because of the information is not stable. So I know, Kyle, that, um, uh, oh, what's it called? Coleman Ridge. That is supposed to be uh, uh, low-income housing that the developer will be building uh, over just south of Coleman, and that would be west of uh, Hammock at Finney. Um, they're, they're building lots of apartments in uh, Wildwood, uh, some people say too many. I, it's not my place to judge. Uh, the city of uh, Wildwood has to make their own decisions. All right, so where are we at here? Um, oh yeah, so uh, uh, Felix Mantella asked about the area east of Richmond. We already talked about that. That's going to be Courtyard Villas, and now it looks like Courtyard Villas and Verandas. Um, so St. Nowhere, I love the name, <laughs> uh, happy 10th anniversary. We purchased a home here in large part due to your videos and being able to film the construction of our home. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm not trying to sell homes for the villagers. I'm just trying to make, give people good information so that they can make a good decision for themselves. Uh, you know, um, there's, there was so much information when I started, misinformation when I started this, uh, it drove me nuts. That's why I, my videos started. Um, you know, I've had a lot of people tell me that they've purchased homes because of my videos. Um, that's wonderful. I've had a few tell me that because of my videos, they didn't purchase homes and because they realized the villages wasn't for them and good for them. That's a good choice. They didn't make a very expensive mistake. So, you know, uh, again, I'm, I don't work for the villages. I never have. I haven't taken their money uh, for any of my work. Um, the, you know, what I do is, again, for the, the people looking to buy here and wanting good information. Um, St. Nowhere wants to know, uh, or says, just a thought, it could be an interesting Interesting sometime to see a video showing an example of the historical timeline for each major phase of construction uh, for the villages from start to end. Um, it would be. It's very hard to get that information, but I will tell you this. Go to the Rohan Rec Center. Go to the main ballroom, the, the big room, and all around the walls there they have pictures from the, uh, the 80s all the way through to almost current day of the state of construction, uh, aerial f photographs of it, and it's interesting to see how things moved along. Do, 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 do. Oh. oh, yeah, RVA newbie reefer. Uh, okay, I <laughs> just, uh, reefer, okay, well, anyway. Um, they have a, they have to get the trash under control from the Be Bexley Bridge South. Uh, it is everywhere you look. The lakes look horrendous. The trails and multimodal roads are littered uh, along both sides. Uh, it's honestly terrible. They have the nerve to to look at you funny when you mention it to them, uh, like you're the problem, not making uh, not making the makings of the landfill we're living in. So in the construction areas, it is very difficult. The winds blow a lot. Um, uh, they, uh, they blow a lot of debris from the construction area. As the home areas finish up, they do do a good job on cleaning up the retention ponds and pulling all the debris out of it uh, and uh, um, all the trash. Same thing around the home areas. It's just very difficult with all the work going on in the construction areas to do that. They do go through on the weekends and they do uh, sweep the streets uh, front with the dirt and any other debris so that people even though you're not supposed to go through the construction areas 
they make it e make it pleasant so you can go through and not not get a flat tire hopefully um, uh, but in in the areas like down in Moultrie Creek right now if you go down McMurtry Drive or McMurtry Trail or whatever it's called um, that's one of the main roads in um, uh, Moultrie Creek uh, this week they this weekend they went through and they swept it all up and you can actually drive through there I was back in there today um, let's see uh, Lisa Duncan asked when is Eastport going to be completed I read sometime in 2025 uh, it will open sometime in 2025 uh, I believe early in 2025 but be complete I think it will take 10 years to complete just like Brownwood is never really complete for that matter neither is Lake Sumter Landing they still have land there that they can build uh, they like to have their options available to them um, uh, so Jerry Harris says uh, Don your videos are very informative I clear my Sundays at 3 p.m. so I can focus on what you have to show us thank you I appreciate you tuning in and I appreciate your loyalty um, looks like I put the same thing twice okay do, 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 do. Ah, Susan Rodriguez says you mentioned I believe two new grocery stores one in Middleton one possibly in Eastport are they both Publix will they have will they both have a shopping center restaurants like Magnolia Plaza and Lake Deaton um, so I don't know that they're going to be Publix uh, I think possibly one of them will be and I think the other one will probably be a na Walmart neighborhood market uh, just and it's based on the configuration of the building the configuration of the parking lot that I say this um, uh, but uh, will they have a shopping center restaurants like Magnolia Plaza Lake Deaton since they're part uh, it looks like they're going to be part of the Middleton downtown and the Eastport downtown so yeah there's going to be a lot of that but it's not going to be a sh the the strip mall type shopping center that you see at Magnolia Plaza you know it, it's more like um, which is it? Winn-Dixie down at Lake Sumter Landing there's a Winn-Dixie at Lake Sumter Landing but it's set off to the side um, yeah uh, all right on school uh, <laughs> that's the second time I've seen you popped up on it that's what I was doing down in uh, Moultrie Creek this morning um, we did find uh, we did win the lottery on a, a second home uh, it's an investment property for me uh, I'm looking at renting it for four years uh, assuming I, I, I win re-election because I have to live in my district I have to have a residence here in my district uh, which is district 5 which is basically 44 to 466 a uh, plus Continental Country Club um, Oh, what's the name of that? Uh, and the area behind, um, what's it behind? Oh yeah, Co the Colony uh, Publix and that. I think that's CDD seven, uh, and it goes from the county line, the Lake County line, all the way over to Pinellas Plaza. Uh, yeah, we're we're very excited about it. Um, <coughs> uh, you know, it was. Uh, it was a very uh, long thought out process you know a couple of couple of videos ago I talked about the best area to buy uh, that's when the, the process started uh, was looking for uh, an investment property I think that's going to be a great area you're going to be sandwiched between two town squares uh, basically a lot like living near Lake Sumter Landing that people like I live near Brownwood uh, it's a very popular area too uh, I think this is going to be even more popular because you've got Middleton, you've got Eastport, you got restaurants in both, you got shopping in both. Uh, I think it's just going to be a great area, and of course, um, uh, what you call it, a couple of miles south of Eastport, in 10 or 15 years, there will be a third, uh, another town square. Uh, we got a Hillsdale, which is a veranda home, and it is. Um, it's in it's in Moultrie Creek 
Uh, it is actually the farthest west you can get in Moultrie Creek. Uh, the other day they introduced, um, what was it, uh, uh, Moultrie Creek Verandas North. The villagers had a new video. Uh, that came out on Friday, and uh, that was uh, when we when we got lucky, or excuse me, it came out on Thursday, and uh, um, you know, uh, we we got lucky. It was our first time out, and we got it. Um, uh, Sandy, no, we didn't get a Winslow. Uh, we ended up going again with a um, uh, Hillsdale which is a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, it's actually smaller than a Winslow, uh, Winslow C, but uh, and it's about 100 square feet bigger than our current Arlington, um, but it feels much larger just because of the layout of the designer veranda homes. Uh, they just work out, they work out better. Uh, Lisa asked, will you ever use Moultrie Creek Home as your primary home? The plan is yes. Uh, after I'm no longer required to live in District 5 because of my position as a county commissioner. Um, uh, uh, I, I, will, I will sell the current house I'm in and move down there. Um, and we got a water view, a beautiful water view. If you, if you know where that um, commercial area is, it's kind of a L-shaped commercial area, an inverted L, uh, we are looking straight out from that little peninsula uh, that where the veranda homes are uh, over the water. It's beautiful. The wife loves it. It's great. Um, hi, Don. I hear that Eastport will have a beach. Is that true? Thanks for your videos. Very helpful. Uh, no. No beach. Uh, there's just... <laughs> no. If, if you're thinking of that... Um, uh, Crystal Lagoons. That's not happening in the villages. There's there's no place for it. Um, yes, the Hillsdale is a precast. Uh, personally, having seen the precast go in, having uh, a good understanding of what they're doing, uh, and, and watching enough of them go in, I like the precast. I think they're going to be some of the strongest homes available in the villages because the rebar goes not only vertically, but also horizontally. In a in a block home, the rebar only goes vert vertically. So uh, and then um, also the concrete is filled all the way to the window frames. Um, hey Sully, uh, the concrete fills all the way to the window frames. Uh, so there's no air gaps. Uh, one of the houses I'm taking pictures of, they did have to replace a window. I think they put the wrong model window in. Uh, so they cut it out. It was a job and a half to cut that out, but they got it back. They got a new one in. It looks great, and uh, no more issues. Um, let's see. Uh, we talked about that. Uh, retired in Florida. Retired in Florida says, "Thanks for another great informative vi uh, stream." Uh, will there be two hotels built in the southern section of the villages? Yes. They are building a hotel right now. They've the the, the vertical columns were starting to be uh, go up yesterday at the um, Middleton Hotel directly across from the high school, and Eastport Hotel is also going up. So two hotels. Um, ooh, we're getting down on questions here. Ah, I love this one. Pat says, Don, Don, Don. You should talk about presidential politics or religion before venturing into the best barbecue. Memphis barbecue is good, but everybody knows the best barbecue is Kansas City, hands down. All right, I disagree. My response to him was, was uh, put on there. Uh, I put in here in red. I said, Pat, 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 how could you possibly compare the succulent flavor of Memphis-style pork and ribs to the overcooked and overseasoned cow flesh swimming in the fancy ketchup served in Kansas City. Uh, I doubt my dogs would even eat Kansas City barbecue the way the meat is defiled. At least Kansas City, at least in Kansas City, they don't put mustard on barbecue like they do in some eastern states. Uh, 
I know I'm going to catch a lot of grief for this one. <laughs> um, you know, barbecue is a preference. I, I moved to Memphis in 1999, and I lived there for seven years, and I fell in love with Memphis-style barbecue and dry rub ribs. That's the only way I make my ribs now. And uh, it is, uh, to me, it's better. I like pork better than I like beef. So, uh, you know, it's preference. But, yeah, I don't, it is just fancy ketchup that they're putting on them. Um, let's see, we got a bunch of new texts coming in here, messages coming in. Uh, let's see, uh, Corbett kid says, I think that was my window in Moultrie Creek. Your home is facing our, uh, your home is facing ours. My home uh, faces east, the back faces west. I think I've got a picture of it. Let me see if I can bring that up real quick. I think it's uh, at least the map. <coughs> oh, do, 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 do. Library. Uh, nope, I don't have the map. So maybe we can bring up a, uh, what you call it, um, I'll, I'll try and bring up the, the map for the villages here shortly. Um, let's see. Uh, Roxy Jacobson says, Hi, Don. Had a, had a class, so joined late. Uh, but I will keep asking, what is going in off Rolling Acres Road? Big development. Uh, love, uh, love to you and the doggies. Thanks for the updates. Um, so that is part of the... Thunder Oaks, or there's some big Oaks development. Uh, there was just an article about them approving an, an additional extension to it. But it basically goes from Rolling Acres all the way over to where the apartments are already built um, on, I think it's Cherry Lake Road. It's a big, big development. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, I think it's 1,200 homes or something like that that they're building. It's a lot. Um, uh, let's see, uh, let's see, uh, Steve S. says, Hi Don, we wanted to say thanks for our pictures and videos of our new home uh, being built in Shady Brook. We enjoy watching. Thank you, appreciate it. Um, and Victoria says, Oh my God, wonderful puppies and a veranda. What else could you ask for? Sleep. Uh, yeah, it's, it's been a busy, busy week for us. Um, uh, let's see, uh, Jerry says, uh, Jim O, no beach, well, it was a good rumor, yeah, it was a good rumor, but it's not going to happen, um, to do, uh, to do, um, uh, Arcoloda, I said, so, so again, sorry about butchering the name, how common is, the, uh, how common is the village's lottery, I thought that ended during COVID, uh, when demand dropped. Demand has not dropped. Um, you know, uh, demand has actually spiked in the last couple of months uh, with the opening of Moultrie Creek. Um, it is a lottery. We put in um, our request for three different houses. We ended up getting our third. Uh, but, uh, yeah, demand is still way up. <clears throat> oh, Gracie, latest rumor I heard, Costco is being built across the street from Russell Stover opening end of 2025. What say you, Don? Don say no. Uh, A, uh, I haven't found anything that validates Costco coming to the Villages area yet. Um, I, uh, but I, I can tell you that that area uh, is zoned industrial. Um, I think I would have seen the zoning changes to make it commercial as a county commissioner. And uh, I have seen nothing on that yet. Um, where is Costco going up? Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know that there is one coming. Um, you know, and if there, if there was one, until I find something that validates it, I'm not going to feed the rumor mill. Rumor mill. Um, Patrick says the villages is a number one spot of the nation for buying and selling homes. I agree. Um, Jerry says, uh, Costco, still a rumor, keep your fingers crossed. <clears throat> um, 
So, Patrick, you said Costco executives have stated there is one in Wildwood shortly. I sure would like to see some documentation of that. You know, I've heard somebody's brother's, barber's cousin say they work at Costco and it's going to do it. And I, I don't, I don't know. Um, I haven't seen anything to validate that. Again, if a Costco executives have made a public statement and it, it's documented someplace, please send it to me. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Margaret Mountain says, just heard the widening of the turnpike to eight lanes has been approved. Plans for future expressways and bridges. Uh, when will construction begin? Um, so, Margaret, yes, the widening of, of the turnpike will continue from where it's at in Lake County all the way up to I-75. Uh, that is a reality. It's been uh, in the works for quite a while. It's been approved for quite a while. Um, so I think, uh, I want to say 26, work is supposed to start. I'm trying to remember from the last MPO planning meeting that I was at. The Metropolitan Planning Organization gets involved with all the major road work uh, here in Lake and Sumter County. Uh, and I'm on that board. I'm one of the uh, vice chairmen. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, again, I think 2026 is going to happen. Um, as far as plans for future expressways and bridge, uh, I know part of the plan for that is to um, widen the, the, the bridge, both uh, the number of lanes and the span going over 301 to allow 301 to be widened to four lanes in both directions, plus the necessary exit lanes uh, there in Wildwood. And, uh, excuse me. Um, uh, but anyway, yeah, so that's, that's coming. Uh, unfortunately, it's coming at the same time the widening of 301 is and the widening of I-75. So Sumter County is going to have all three major roads uh, that feed it under construction at the same time. It's going to be a mess. Andy Smith says, skip Costco, put a Sam's at 470 in the turnpike. <laughs> you know, that, that 470 in the turnpike area um, is prime just south of uh, Dabney. They have 550 acres there. It's bordered uh, by the turnpike on the, what would that be, the west, 470 on the north, and um, uh, is it 33? No, 48. 48 on uh, the south and the east side. And my just looking at what's there and the property and, and all that's around it, that to me is prime commercial property. I think we're going to see something there, but it's going to be a few years. Uh, you remember, uh, there have to be customers before they put in the business. If you build it, they will come. may work in the movie The Field of Dreams, but it does not work in business. That's how you go out of business. You have to have your customers first. Um, yep, Home Depot is nearly done. Uh, I'm hearing rumors of uh, late next month. I'm hearing rumors of like a week or so for the CVS there. Uh, Jim O asks, uh, will 470 get a golf cart bridge slain or slash lane over the turnpike? <sighs> you know, I, I think it will, you know, they've got, um, uh, the, uh, the developer has a road agreement with Lake County to widen 470 from the county line. Uh, where they're building temporary roadway right now, uh, all the way to the end of uh, Dabney. And that includes uh, the bridge. Uh, you know, it's, a, it's about funding. It's about getting approval. Uh, you're, you know, part of the problem with the Water Lily Bridge, it took so long to get it, was that the, the officials were afraid that senior citizens would be throwing things off of the bridge at the cars below it. That's why it's so narrow. 
so that there's no walking lanes. You have to take the golf cart lanes or hurry up through, um, uh, what you call it, uh, hurry up across the bridge so you don't get run over by the golf carts. Uh, I think it was silly, but anyway, it is what it is. <coughs> um, do you think the Do you think the villages will ever run out of retirees, say in 15 years, as the boomers leave the earth? No. People are still going to be retiring, even after the baby boomers. Uh, this is uh, um, uh, this this community is going to continue on for many many years. Uh, you know, uh, they, I know years ago they said, well, the baby boomers don't have as much money as the generation before them. They do, uh, and and there are people uh, in whatever it's Gen X or whatever generation is following us, baby boomers, that uh, are smart, have been smart with their money and are saving for retirement. And there will always be um, people retiring. And there's always going to be, a, I think, always going to be a demand for this lifestyle. This, you know, this is the fourth quarter of life. And uh, we're, we're fortunate to live here and uh, have many of the great amenities that we have and, and opportunities that we have for uh, enjoying. Um, I just realized I'm on top chat instead of live chat. I wonder how many I missed. Um, uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Uh, let's see. Uh, Victoria asks, is a waterfront veranda much more money than a non-waterfront or, or non-water view? Yes, it is. Um, I, you know, I, I, I can, I've, I've seen what my price was compared to some of the inside lots, and there was about sixty thousand dollars difference. Um, and uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, ETA uh, Unschool says ETA for boosters completion. Have you had a peek inside lately? I have not been inside. Uh, I do not go into the construction areas and trespass, but I can see it. So therefore, under Florida Statute 934.50, uh, there is no expectation of privacy, so uh, seeing it is is completely legal, and that's what I show in my videos. Um, let's see. I think we're almost done with the questions. Um, uh, oh, yeah. This one was a good one. Uh, Randy and Brenda Smith ask, uh, we just purchased a new home in Dabney. What would be the closest fire station to that village? Right now, that is 47 up on Warm Springs Avenue. However, uh, they are working on station 49, which uh, is right near the county line on uh, 470 slash Central Parkway. Uh, and uh, that's probably a year and a half to two years out. Then you will have a, a much closer fire station. And uh, do, 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 do. let's see. Um, this is the last question I have. My wife and I spent two months renting this past winter. Uh, we rented in Newell, and the noise from the turnpike in 470 was very noticeable. With your interest in Eastport and all of your drone flying, which area do, believe, do you believe will be the quietest in Eastport? We want to build. Thanks for any information you can provide. So... Yeah, there is noticeable noise in Eastport and uh, Lake, or excuse me, not Eastport, uh, Newell and Lake Denham. Um, and uh, for me, it was enough not to um, uh, wanting to move in that area. I do did like the um, St. Catherine area. It's farther away from the turnpike. It's pretty quiet. I did a bunch of homes back there. I liked what I saw. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I kept my eye on Eastport for a while and, you know, this two months ago, I realized this is the spot, uh, as far as quietest in Eastport, um, I'm, I'm going to assume you, again, you mean the area south of Eastport. And in that case, um, I'm going to say probably in that area, Water's Edge is going to be the quietest, um, 
or even uh, Shady Brook. Uh, you know, obviously, you're, if you get near the Middleton, the high school is there. They have the big football stadium there. I was out at the new house um, on Friday when they had a track meet going on at uh, uh, the high school. And, yeah, you could hear the announcement clear as a bell. That didn't bother me. Um, one, it's I'm still looking at years away before moving in there. But besides that, uh, you know, it's it it's not going to be every day. Uh, and and when it is, you know, they do make the announcements. I hope to be in the stadium, watching the game, because uh, I'll be you know when I do move there, I'll be close enough. It's a golf cart trip away. I think it's going to be great. Uh, but you know. If that's going to bother you, then you definitely want to move away from uh, the Middleton area. So therefore, you know, uh, Shallow Creek or maybe one of the villages are not Shallow Creek. Uh, what's it called? Um, Shady Brook? No, not Shady Brook, dear. Uh, beyond Shady Brook, um, Water's Edge. Water's Edge is going to be farther away. Um, I think that's going to be a, a much qu quieter uh, area. Uh, you want to move to the south end, though, to get yourself away from Eastport because you're going to hear the music from Eastport, just like people around Brownwood and uh, Lake Sumter Landing hear the music. Um, but anyway, uh, let's see. Pardon me, I had to get some water. Uh, almost out of coffee, so i got to shift to water now. Uh, whew, man, we've been going at this, getting already after 4.30. Uh, and we still got 100 viewers. I really appreciate everybody sticking around. I apologize for the, the rough start we got today. It was, uh, it was pretty bad. Uh, let's go back to the main camera. We're not going to pull up the puppies because there's no puppies in here. All right, so um, I can do this. I just got to figure out how to close out what I'm doing here. Let me close out Word, which had the questions. I'm going to open a web browser. And we'll pull up the village's map. If I can find it. Okay. Villages. Uh, we're going to search our homes, new homes. All right, let me. I'm going to configure, reconfigure that to uh, Safari. There we go. All right, now we got the villages map. Um, so, um, Mark Edwards says, why are you not watching the Masters? Because I'm sitting here talking to you. Uh, but it, I, I can't wait to get back to, to watching the Masters. All right. So let's try and zoom in. And where are we? Oh, that's too far north. Here we go. Here we go. Do do. All right. So yeah, that Shallow Creek Golf Course right there. And I'll zoom out just a little bit so we can get some reference. So this is Veranda, uh, Moultrie Creek Verandas North. This is where we ended up getting a place. Uh, in fact, it is this one, it's a Hillsdale. I'll zoom in a little bit. And as I said, it is the westernmost part of Middleton, or excuse me, uh, Moultrie Creek. And the floor plan looks like this. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Um, anyway, uh, it's a 3-3 three, three with the golf cart garage. It's uh, 1,927 square feet. And uh, again, it's, it's about 120 square feet bigger than our current house. We like the idea of um, three bathrooms. Two of them are en suites. And uh, 
all three bedroom areas are you're able to close off the front bedroom bedroom two there's a slider by the foyer um, and then um, there's also bedroom three has an ensuite it's a small bathroom but it's it's adequate that's where eventually my office slash studio will be and uh, you know there's the laundry room and that's all closed you can close off that from uh, the, the main part of the house um, so yeah it was kind of nice uh, Scotty just birdied number nine uh, have you ever been to Augusta National uh, no I have never been to Augusta National uh, uh, yeah, I wasn't a big golf fan until I moved to the villages. Um, I'm still, I'm a fan, but I am not a player. But anyway, um, so anyway, uh, that's uh, that's um, what you call it. What a Hillsdale looks like, and that's again. This is where uh, someday I will move to, and. Uh, you know, it is, it is again very near the high school. This area, he, um, I don't know if you can see it. That area where that pond is, uh, the the kind of weird shaped pond with the chunk taken out of it, um, is uh, this is that L, this kind of I guess it looks like a boot turned on its side, is uh, all scheduled to be commercial, but. It's a strange looking area, so it'll be interesting to see what they have planned. I have not, um, uh, what you call it, uh, seen anything yet on this particular commercial property. William asks, congratu says, congratulations, can I ask how much your bond is? Well, it's all public record, so there's no, no dancing around it. It's $51,000 is the bond. My bond on my current house when I bought it 10 years ago, but it's a courtyard villa, is or 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 was thirteen thousand? I made the decision after six years to pay it off because I didn't figure I would move. The best laid plans of mice and men shall never come to pass, as they say. Um, it, it is what it is. Um, you know, it's it's part of the cost of building a house. Uh, other developments, they just roll it into the cost of the house, and you pay more. But. Uh, Anyway, um, well, thank you, Land Girl. I appreciate it. I appreciate the good wishes. Um, anybody else have any questions? If not, you know, it's it's rolling up to a quarter to five. And we got off to a rocky start, but uh, you know, um, yeah, we got we got through it. Um, again, thank you all for for jumping uh, broadcast. I don't know what happened to the last one. Everything said it was broadcasting. Uh, but it didn't, of course. Um, oh, look, the main camera is now in focus. Why it wasn't in focus earlier is beyond me. Am I on the main Yeah, I'm on main camera. Um, anyway, uh, when do you close on your new place? Um, uh, mid, mid, -bay, mid May is when we're scheduled to close. We've got 30 days. Uh, my wife tells me May 13th. Uh, so, uh, lots of things to do. We have, you know, before we rent it, there are some changes we want to make. Things like um, rain gutters all the way around. Right now, it's just on the entry. Um, there's some other minor things we're looking at doing uh, to dress it up. Uh, ah, six days. Unschool. Which street are you on? I'll give you a few seconds to answer that because of the delay with YouTube. Uh, Walkers. Okay. Yeah, I think I did seven houses on Walkers. That was uh, quite a popular street. And yeah, it's uh, it's a nice area. Oh, okay. Julia and Mark. <laughs> I guess I took pictures of your house. So <laughs> uh, yes, I did. Um, yeah, a lot of work doing it, but uh, definitely, um, it's it's a it's a good thing. You know, for those of you who don't know what I'm doing, uh, I take and uh, as the home is being built, I go out, 
I say twice a week, it's normally three times a week, and take pictures of the house inside and out uh, so that uh, you know, the new homeowners who can't be here can see it being built and uh, have good documentation. And if they see something, they can ask me questions. I got 20 years in the construction industry, so I know pretty much what's going on, and I've been doing this for a long time. And uh, you know, if there's something that doesn't look right, gives you the opportunity to uh, address it before closing. Uh, and, and early on, there's been some minor things, misplaced windows, wrong floor tile, wrong bathroom tile, but that's, those are very, very rare. In, in nearly 200 homes, uh, I'd say there's been less than, yeah, less than 10 issues that needed to be really addressed. Uh, worth every penny. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. They try and keep it reasonable. There, there's a lot of time involved with it. So anyway, nobody has any more questions. If not, I want to thank everybody for joining me. Uh, it, it's always a, a good time for me. Uh, I am working on uh, bringing this, bringing in uh, YouTube. Um, <coughs> uh, yeah, hang on, Greg. I'll, I'll talk about that. Uh, I'm looking at uh, uh, bringing either YouTube or phone calls. I did a quick survey on it, so. Uh, phone calls and possibly YouTube seem like the best that people want to do uh, just so we can do a, a live interaction. Um, I'm still working on the testing of that uh, so uh, it's it's interesting fortunately I have uh, four computers and several iPads at my disposal at my disposal for uh, doing testing so, I mean, right now you can see in the background of the video one of my other computers uh, with a caricature of my dogs. Um, but, uh, yeah. And uh, when the puppies come, uh, hopefully I'll be doing a little live streaming then so everybody gets a chance to see the pups. Um, uh, and I'll be looking for some good homes for them. Uh, the last litter, I mean, four of them still live here in the villages. One lives in Bushnell with my vet, one lives in Wildwood, and one lives in Orlando with our best friends, niece and nephew. And I get to see them all frequently, uh, either pictures or in person, so it, that's pretty cool. And we're hoping to have a uh, one-year reunion of all, of all the pups with mom and dad at one of the dog parks. <sighs> anyway, um, <coughs> yeah, um, so, Greg, uh, you know, doing uh, pics and videos of spec homes, verandas, courtyard villas, uh, you know, uh, that would be uh, very, very difficult. I mean, you got to understand every time we go into a house and take pictures, uh, you know, it's, it's 20, 30 minutes at a pop. So, you know, I have, I have one gentleman working for me. He does, Adam does a fantastic job. Uh, he lives over in... Um, uh, what you call it, uh, St. Catherine, been working for me for, wow, a year and a half, and does a great job uh, on helping me get things taken care of, uh, but uh, it is a lot of time, and I, I can't ask him to do something for free, uh, you know, it's a job for him, and it's, it's a business for me. Um, uh, Victoria says, will you be able to pick out the, f the floorings and finishes? Nope. The designers all are all picked it out. Uh, everything is just about done in the house. Uh, they've got some punch list items to do, but uh, the appliances are in, the, the countertops are in, the flooring is in, the carpeting is in, everything is done. You know, one of the things we don't like is the white paint job. Uh, I hate white. Um, my office is still white. It's the only room in the house that hasn't been painted. All the bathrooms, the laundry room, the hallway, the kitchen, the, all the other two bedrooms, they've all been painted. Uh, I did all but the master bedroom for painting. I hate painting. Oh, I hate painting with a passion. So I'll probably hire somebody to, to do the painting. But anyway, um, that's all I have for today. Uh, if you have questions, please feel free to send them to me uh, at live at goldwingnut.com. I will try and put those uh, on next week's broadcast. Um, 
I have a busy week ahead of me. I'm not sure I'm going to get a video out next Sunday or not. If not next Sunday, the one after, I will definitely have a video out. A lot depends on puppies at this point. Because uh, uh, that's going to take up a huge amount of time. Especially if, you know, Lily comes across with a dozen or more puppies. It's like, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> But uh, I did put her whelping box here in my office um, because last time it was in the other spare bedroom and uh, she would like to, she always came in and um, uh, even though the puppies were in the other room when I was working. So in fact, I can show you. Let me see. I got my, um, uh, my iPhone camera here. Here we go. We'll bring it up. That's the whelping box. Um, and you know, here's my desk and you know, me holding the camera and all that. So it is right there. I'll be able to keep a close eye on her. Uh, and yeah, the rest of the junk you see over there is all associated with my drones. All right, back to the other camera. Anyway, so, uh, uh, thanks Mark. I appreciate it. Good luck. Um, and, uh, we are definitely excited about both the house and the puppies. Uh, definitely going to keep me busy for, for a while. So uh, thank you, everyone. I'm going to end the stream now. Uh, I'll see you back next week. Uh, Y'all have a blessed day. And uh, enjoy this beautiful Florida weather if you live in here. And if not, you can just be envious. Take care. Bye.